The fate of Samsung's Fan Edition lineup has been uncertain since the market's tepid response to the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. Its successor, the Galaxy S22 FE, was to be cancelled, although one rumor insisted it would run the also doomed Exynos 2300. Supposedly, the S22 FE was initially scheduled to launch in October last year, but those plans were shelved due to semiconductor supply chain issues. Instead, Samsung will now skip the S22 FE and release the S23 FE later in the year. Now, the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition is back on the table, and it will supposedly run a high-end chip from Qualcomm. Twitter leaker Orex DA The same person who initially proclaimed the smartphone dead says the S23 Fan Edition will be powered by the last-gen Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 to adjust the unit price. It makes sense, given it is last year's model, allowing OEMs to purchase it at a lower price. The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1's biggest differentiation was that it is mass-produced on TSMC's efficient forward process, the same one used for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Qualcomm switching foundries from Samsung to TSMC introduced the heftiest upgrade in both performance and power efficiency, making it the suitable silicon to use in the Galaxy S23 FE, with the flagship Exynos range not being produced for the time being, a global launch can bring a positive outcome for Samsung's sales simply because potential buyers are well informed about the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 from before. If you were unaware of its performance, note that it was able to beat Apple's A15 Bionic and gaming test, so it means business. At this stage, using the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for the Galaxy S23 FE is not an option for Samsung because it will be prissier to purchase from Qualcomm than acquiring the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Secondly, using the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 would undercut the Galaxy S23 series, which would be detrimental to Samsung's sales, so if the latest rumor ends up true, then it would have been the right business decision. Furthermore, it isn't a bad chip and should offer a flagship tier experience even a year after its launch. Orex Day says he'll leak more information about the Galaxy S23 FE later. While it is far too early to start making assumptions, one can expect the smartphone to use a 120Hz AMOLED screen and some, if not all, of the S23 series camera sensors. The Galaxy S21 Fan Edition arrived a bit too late to make any meaningful impact, hence Samsung could likely launch it sometime in quarter 3 or 4. Given the upper launch of the S21 FE, which probably did not garner the same success as the S20 FE, it was somewhat obvious that Samsung would not proceed with a S22 FE launch. Fortunately, the Galaxy S23 FE could indicate a rebirth of cost-effective smartphones and the existence of Qualcomm's high-end Snapdragon 8 chipsets should give Samsung sufficient motivation to go through with the launch. So, what are your thoughts on Samsung's decisions to introduce the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 on upcoming Fan Edition model? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.